All right, this video is a tutorial on scientific notation. So when we write a number in scientific notation, we express it as a times x to the n. Okay. So a is going to be our first non-zero digit. n tells us how many places to move the decimal. Okay. So in the first example, Okay, I have 513 million. So there's no decimal place present right now. So I will write in where it is to start. Okay, so if it's not written in, you can assume it's at the end of the last number. In scientific notation, the decimal place needs to be between the first or after the first non-zero digit, which is five. Okay, so you can think about it as between the first two numbers or after the first non-zero digit. Non-zero digit meaning a digit that is not zero. All right, so let's figure out how many places between where I want the decimal and where the decimal is now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I know that I have 5.13 times 10 to the 8th. Now we need to double check and make sure that we have the exponent correct. This exponent will be positive if our original number is greater than 1. 513 million is greater than 1. So it will be positive 8. You can always go back and check your work. If I were to move this decimal place eight places to the right, okay, eight it's positive, so that'd be eight places to the right, I should have this number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I will have six zeros after five point after five hundred and thirteen. In the next example, the decimal place is already present, okay, so there's a decimal right here and we want our decimal place to be after the first non-zero digit, which is three. So I want the decimal to be between the one and the two. So 3.12, okay. The distance between where the decimal, where we have the decimal right now and where we want it to be is one, two, three, four. However, our original number was less than 1. So therefore, this exponent is negative. So you can double check your work. If you move this back four places, so the negative implies that you move the decimal place backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, you'd have 0 .000312. Okay. Now, if we were to take a number that's written in scientific notation and expand it into its original form, let's take a look at this example. I have 3.4 times 10 to the 2. It's a positive 2. That means I will move the decimal place two places to the right, two places larger. One, two. Okay, and you get 340. So you can double check your work. If you were to write that in scientific notation, you would want the decimal place to be between the first two numbers or after the first non-zero digit, which was three. The distance between where you have the decimal place and where you want the decimal place is two. So it would be 3.4 times 10 to the two. In the next example, I have 1.78 times 10 to the negative 4. Negative 4 means I'm going to move the decimal place backwards. It gets smaller. Negative means it gets smaller. Positive means it gets larger. So I move it back. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and you will get 0 0.000178.